Around 4,000 years ago, the first monotheistic religion was founded. Today, we call that religion Judaism. The founders of Judaism are known as Abraham and Sarah. They gave birth to a son, Isaac. After his mother's death, Isaac married Rebecca. The following is recently recovered footage from Isaac and Rebecca's wedding celebration. Wow, Isaac, Rebecca, you did it. You tied the knot. Yeah, and I couldn't be happier. No, I couldn't be happier. No, me. No, me. No, me. Well, it's clear to me that you two are very much in love. That seems lucky, considering this was an arranged marriage. Tell me, what is it that you love so much about each other? Rebecca is the kindest, most generous person I have ever met, which lets me know that we'll be friends for life. Oh, and Isaac, he might seem shy, but once you get to know him, you realize he's just sensitive and sweet. He doesn't have anything to prove. He's just himself. Oh. Amazing. And when did you know each other was the one? Oh, I mean, the first time I laid eyes on him, I just, I just knew. I, I was so smitten, I fell off my camel. Wait, you fell off your camel? Like, uh, literally? Or like, no, figuratively? No, like, literally. Oh, li literally. Not figuratively. Literally. <laughs> I actually fell off my camel. Yeah, it's a great story. So I'm standing outside of my father's oh, house. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to tell it. I was, after all, the one who did the falling. <laughs> I think we both fell for each other. Oh! oh. No, 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 you're right, sweetie. I'm sorry, you tell it. So, Eliezer, that was our matchmaker. Oh, he was also uh, Isaac's dad, Abraham's personal assistant. So he was taking me to meet Isaac for the first time, and we're riding in on our camels, and I just, I see Isaac across this field, and he just had the kindest eyes, and I mean, I was just so smitten. I fell off my camel. It was um, not graceful. Well, graceful or not, it was adorable. <laughs> so I rush over and I say, are you okay? And she says, I am now. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. And I looked at her and I thought, wow, she is beautiful. Oh. But then I thought, could I love her? And then Eliezer told me what happened when he went to find me a wife. He went down to the well. Yeah. Women go down to the well in droves to get water. That's why Eliezer had gone there to, uh, you know, find Isaac a wife. Yeah, so he went down with his camels, and it was so hot out, he was so thirsty, so he really wanted someone to come and get him some water, not just for himself. But also for his camels. But also for his camels, because then he would know that she was extra thoughtful and kind. So, anyway, he comes up to me and he says, um, can I have a drink? And I said... And she said, Of course! Have a drink and, and let me get some water to your camels as well! <laughs> and then it all made sense why we connected immediately. She just radiated generosity, kindness, and generosity. These are qualities I always knew I wanted in a wife who could be a lifelong friend. Yeah, and Isaac... He just made me laugh. <laughs> he always makes me laugh. And then that first night, we stayed up in your tent, and he told me about his mom. I've been so lonely since she passed. Yeah, and he was so open and honest with me. No, you were such a good listener. Well, I knew that those were important qualities that I wanted in a lifelong friend. Openness and honesty, and that's when I knew that we could be friends for life. Oh, babe, you're the best! No, you are the best! No, you no, are! No, you are! Oh. Rebecca and Isaac talked about qualities they value in each other that make them want to spend time together. They mentioned kindness, generosity, openness, and a sense of humor. What qualities do you look for in a friend that could make them a friend for life? The qualities I'd be looking for in a lifelong friend would be trustworthiness, thoughtful, smart, and unargumentative. Kindness, thoughtfulness, and smartness. Having fun together. But they should also be loyal and kind and be honest, and they should listen to you, but you should also listen to them, and they should have good things to say and be interesting. Well, 
Rebecca and Isaac are still a little busy. Do you have any advice for them as they begin their new lives together? And the advice I have for Rebecca and Isaac is that they should be there for each other and love each other. They should also see if they have things in common so that they can do those things together. So I know this won't be in the desert that they're living in, but maybe they could see a Broadway show together. I mean, you don't see Broadway Avenue like in a desert. My advice is you should have a baby and get along with each other. All right, let's check back in on the happy couple. Oh, oh. I love you so much. I love you. Oh.